Morning, my friends. Here's just a silly video just to build off of the Picasso video. Here's Ola England. At one time, he might have been vibrant. At one time, he might have had some goals. He might have been interesting. He might have been funny. I'm sure he's a cool guy to hang out with. I'm sure he's a cool guy to have a friend. But, you know, in YouTube, every single one of these people is just turned into a salesman. And they just wait for the new product to come out so that they can hype it up. And that's the only way they make their money. They have no substance anymore. They've become the most dead people in the world. On top of it, they've become the most lazy people in the world. And the YouTube algorithm just keeps on promoting them. Just keeps on promoting them over and over and over and over and over again. You, you, you can't say anything about Ola England here, the great king. And these people really are the great kings of YouTube. So his video is, Some asshole stole my music. Well, that's pretty funny for you and I. Because we understand that saying is like a Buddhist riddle. We understand that the origins of that saying goes to nothing new under the sun. But for these people, they literally just steal each other's shit. So um, what would Ola England have a problem with somebody stealing his shit while it's probably satire because nothing's legitimate with these people and anything at all. Then, then he has a, a boom box from the, the 1980s, but it's probably brand new. That isn't, wouldn't that be fitting? A millennial having a boom box, uh, an LL Cool J boom box from the 1980s, but it's brand new. All right. Some asshole out there stole my freaking music. If you're a follower of mine, I guess you understand what, that. What music? You're a YouTuber. Big part of my career is the, about. Does it make you? Does it make you sick to your stomach when these all of these YouTubers they call their YouTubing a career? You understand that a big part of my career is about music ever since my teenage year i've been writing music and it's just one of those no 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 one would ever know about your music or you writing music um we know about you selling us products and you don't make videos on your music because music isn't allowed on youtube life that i truly truly enjoy Cre creative things aren't allowed on YouTube. YouTube has only become a place to sell people things. YouTube channel, I would say that 99% of the music that I play is my original work and that L one- like, like, what would it matter? It, some dumbass metal riff? Somebody took, somebody took your dumbass metal riff? Um, that you, you're, you're a YouTuber. Sent being covers of other bands or other artists. Whenever I do make uh, an artist cover of someone else's music uh, on my YouTube channel, the label usually sends a copyright infringement claim against that video, which means that the video usually stays, but the label will take all of the ad revenue that I will make from that video. So I basically make absolutely zero money from doing covers on my YouTube channel. However, it is something that I feel is uh, something I want to do. And also it's he wants, part of my- Guys, he wants to do more covers on his YouTube channel, guys. He can't make, I, I don't think he even understands what he's saying. He's saying that it's impossible for him to do original music because people call him a big ego. They say, oh, look at this guy. And I don't think anybody knows how bad it is that millennials and Gen Z, they literally look at if you do anything original, they look at it as, oh, this guy thinks he's so great. Oh, this guy has an ego. We need to cancel him. So Ola England here is afraid 
to do original music on YouTube because all the people that support him will all of a sudden go, oh, God, you can't do original things anymore. Oh, what do you... That's cringy. So, um, Ola England wants to do some 1980s, um, like Hulk Hogan theme music to cover because that's what the stupid children love. And by stupid children, I mean millennials that are 30 years old at this point. They like it when you cover the Hulk Hogan theme song. The YouTube channel sometimes that I make covers. And making zero money out of covers is absolutely fine. I think that the artist who Guy, wrote the- Guys, guys, that's not what happens. Um, would everybody here, would everybody on YouTube make all their money from covers if they weren't making their money? from covers um in zero money out of covers is absolutely fine i think that the artist who wrote the original music deserves the revenue from that video i have absolutely no problem with that i'm using their work in my video fair and square and whenever i play my original music which is the bigger chunk of my content you know, I get to keep my ad revenue. And playing my original music on my channel has kept my channel uh, thriving for the past almost 14 years. No one's ever seen you play original music, ever. Never seen anything original from you. Now, and my videos usually don't contain anything else other than my original work. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying that ad revenue is what keeps me alive, but it is a very big part of what keeps me alive. Do we understand that this guy, he has an office and a staff of people? Um, somehow he, somehow, guys, we must be lied to because this guy has an office and a whole entire staff of people that work for him, which is rare for a YouTuber because a YouTuber usually just keeps all the money for themselves. But he only gets around 200,000 views on his video and um, on his videos. And that's enough to sustain a living for him and plenty of other people. Isn't that weird how we're lied to about how much money is really made on YouTube? The other day, I received a copyright. The, uh, all you need to do is make 500,000 views on your videos, and you're set. You, you got more than plenty enough money to buy a house, car, have plenty of extra money in your pocket, pay for employees for no reason at all, have an office. Uh, on two of my recent videos where I'm playing my song, Cringy AF, from my album Star Singer that uh, was released in 2021. And the claim was- it, it, it amazing, I never been, uh, you might have original music out there. Isn't it amazing how um, YouTube recommends me every single fucking video. I'm not even subscribed to Ola England. I get recommended every single fucking video that he makes, but I've never been recommended anything original that he makes this it says hi old England copyrighted content has been detected in your video this is gonna piss a lot of people off where which was the video where I played my own song cringe the AF the visibility of your video is not impacted but you can no longer monetize it hey, hey, hey guys isn't that perfect for a dirtbag millennial like nothing serious it, it, it might as well be the theme of Star Wars um, his it's supposed to be a metal song you know metal songs are supposed to be serious and written on biblical things and they're supposed to make you think but no his song is called cringy as fuck i don't know it's not either monetizing it or receiving analytics about it this is not a copyright strike and does not affect your channel so it's not a copyright strike copyright strikes means that your video gets taken down and you get a warning basically but as of right now this is a claim that will take the monetization for the video and give it to the claimant okay and it says here content used uh, some Chinese should, lettering should, shouldn't be a mystery to everybody. That shouldn't be a mystery to, to people that don't make YouTube videos but use YouTube. That shouldn't be a mystery. That if you upload somebody else's music on your channel, it just automatically gets monetized to the people that's supposed to do. Supposed to be. Happens to me every other day. YB content owner Merlin Eway Music 10 cent. That's like, 
you know, that Chinese brand that owns every fucking game thing. Tencent Music Entertainment Group, Impact on Video not monetized, so meaning that I'm not getting any ad revenue from the video. Now, when you get a claim like this, there's a couple of things you can do. You can leave the video as it is. If you're fine with it. I'm back here smoking up on that pipe tobacco, and it's so wet. It's so wet, I have to light it every single time on the video this is usually what i would do if i upload a cover for instance which means that the claimant will take the money and eventually it gets what, what, what a boring video i'm sorry to waste everybody's time with this stupid ass shit it, isn't this dumb that this guy's making a video <laughs> he's making a video on on um business on business that's just behind the scenes the artist that's what i hope at least the second option is to edit out the segment by trimming muting or replacing the copyright content with the youtube video editor uh that means that you can mute the section mute the music but that just leaves me and, and and just how about the fact that um youtube just re relentlessly promotes you and there's nobody else that gets promoted that's called something like it has a name like it's not what it is. It has a name as like oligarchy or dictatorship or it has a name. I, I know this because of just studying history. There's a certain political thing like a dictatorship or something like that where you only get ahead. You only get to replace Ola England. The only time Ola England goes away and somebody else gets a chance is if you murder Ola England. Has anybody ever noticed that setup of YouTube? That the YouTube algorithm, no matter what these people do, the YouTube algorithm keeps them on top and nobody else has a shot. And if anybody else ever wanted to have a shot on YouTube, you actually have to murder Ola England. If um, you wanted to be the next Mr. Beast, which I couldn't imagine anybody wanting to be the next Mr. Beast, well, the YouTube algorithm will just keep promoting him no matter how much pedophile scandals, Jeffrey Epstein shit, uh, Mr. Beast. To get rid of Mr. Beast, you literally have to murder Mr. Beast to get rid of Mr. Beast. <laughs> the third option is to submit a dispute to the content owner if you have the rights to the content. And the fourth option do, do, is... Don't you think that there's plenty of actual... See, Ola England isn't even good on guitar. He's not even like a producer or a songwriter. He's just likable. That's all. That's all he's got going on. He does antics. He's pretty much jackass. And um, aren't we done with Ola England, shouldn't we get somebody that really understands the instrument, really understands everything? Um, the, are, are, have we had enough of likable Ola England? It's like a, it feels like it sucks my soul. This whole thing of I got no sk skill or talent or anything. I just sell the new products that are coming out. At, at some point, it's like, dude, you're just a soul sucker, there, guy upload a video uh, removing that section altogether now, well well at the same time i bet you any of us could um see ola england is like a f he would be a fun friend i file a dispute with this claim right here saying that you know this is this is a fraudulent claim this is not their music this is my music i own the rights to it so i do that through the youtube app and then whoever made this claim after that has 30 days to respond to my dispute of the claim and if they wanted to they can wait 30 days and basically hold my ad revenue hostage <laughs> throughout this time because no one's getting paid in this time frame let's say potential ad revenue that's being made throughout this time will be uh will be on hold basically until it's decided who has the right so uh, everything came down to um money there's no nothing of artistry nothing important um everything was money there was no artistry there no we're, this is we're dealing with the general public and why art doesn't exist anymore this uh, music anyways i got a response a couple of days later so i didn't have to wait 30 days which is which is good but they're still saying that their claim is 
valid. They have decided that their copyright claim is still valid. And he and, and he gets a hundred and eighty one thousand views on this video, and he gets paid handsomely for this. This is somehow worth money. Why this can happen? The copyright owner might disagree with your dispute. The reason you gave for disputing the claim may have been insufficient or invalid. Now, at this point, if I uh, dispute this claim further, that will mean that the next step will probably be involving lawyers and shit like that. You know, old England. I know, I know, bro. You can afford a house, an office, a bunch of nice cars, tons of employees, and then you can just whimsically afford attorneys on top of that. It's just 10 cents for. Music. For what, dude? What have you ever done that deserves any money at all? Involving lawyers and shit like that. You know, Ole England versus Tencent Music Entertainment Group, which is a big, you know, fucking corporation that has all the money in the world. I'm sitting here in Sweden like, hey, what's up? I need my 30 bucks for my video, you know? <laughs> so how could this happen? Uh, the, the YouTuber lies to us, tells us he's make, he makes $30. How can someone just claim my while, music? While he sits in his office paid by YouTube, he tells us he makes $30. I mean, my music is out on all the streaming platforms since, uh, you know. And, it, it, and he has his YouTube channel that promotes his shitty music that nobody would ever fucking listen to. Oh, man, you, you just have a free ride in everything in life. Am I supposed to somehow feel like, whoa, Ola England has the shitty end of the stick on something? This dude's privileged ass life. This dude, this dude walking around is, oh, bro, bro, my life is so easy. YouTube makes sure that I'm promoted. YouTube relentlessly promotes me, and then I promote my band, and I promote everything, and look at me sit in my luxurious office telling everybody that I make $30. 21, how can this happen? So I started looking this up. Okay, why be? I'll search that on, on so, Spotify. So this, I... is, this is too stupid. This is too stupid, this video that he made that he makes a lot of fucking money off of. So, um... Let's let's end this video. This video was horrible. This video was really fucking stupid because Ola England is really fucking un unentertaining and really fucking stupid. He gave us nothing to talk about. Um, it's all about him and how he needs to make more money and he needs um, businesses to make more products so that he can promote them on YouTube. You know, you know what you know what it's become is. These people, they literally have nothing to make videos on. They literally just wait for a company. Then they find nothing wrong with the products. It's become that bad, guys. These guys sell scams of every single kind. If a new product comes out and it's shitty, they don't say that it's shitty because the entirety of YouTube is now corporate. So any product that they come out with, they all make the same video. All these music YouTubers, they all promote the new product and none of them say anything bad about any of it because they need their next product to sell. It's become really bad, guys. It's become, these guys will promote a piece of dog shit going, this is the greatest new equipment that's ever come out and nobody could ever say anything different about that and they would be right they control all the people they control all, everything the great Ola England the owner of children coming here to cry that he needs more money as he sits in his luxurious office um, I pray God um, has a flood but really that's the God of the Old Testament I, I pray that God has a flood and wipes out all of humanity. This shit's ridiculous.